Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, right -o. Hello, ghost. Oh, I know, I know. You're, you're a cranky guy now, huh? Look at that. Huh? You're a cranky dude. Well, I'd be cranky too if I was sitting in poop like that. You just relax right there, huh? I ate last night, so some food went in one end and uh, some uh, processed uh, mouse went out the back end. So here's Sunday morning, uh, we're cleaning kaboom cages. I'm hoping the popcorn culprits ship very soon. because these guys are getting very big for these tubs and I'd like to put uh, uh, the holdbacks uh, in larger quarters for their good and our safety. So you just have to be very careful when you uh, Put these guys in and open it. Hey, ghost, how you doing? How you doing? Can I take your picture? Huh? Can I take your picture? You're not gonna get all freaky, huh? Now that. Uh, that is probably on the end of the range of his, uh, his strike ability. Okay, come on. It's time to go back in your hut. Come on. You ready? Good guy. Good guy. Huh? There you go. There you go. How about you, big girl, huh? You're working on a shed, huh? Are you working on a shed? You want a wet, a wet bottom or a dry bottom, huh? That's the question. Just put you on a dry bottom, huh? There you go. Oh, you're a big girl too. Huh? You're a big girl. For you know, Lori and I particularly like putting kaboons and rhinos and stuff, especially young ones, uh, on paper towels. And the reason why is these are a little older now. These are like from March or April. I think they came in in April. Uh, so they're born probably in March or April. Um, the thing with these guys was that when they're very young, uh, probably up until, you know, November-ish or so, come on, balance on the hook. Oh, you're a big girl. I know. Look at that, huh? Um, relax. Relax. There you go. I know. You're, 
you're a tight fit, you need to go across the way. Maybe we'll look into that. Um, smaller saw scales or something into there. Um, as I was saying, uh, they would generally poop, you know, twice a week. Uh, now as they get older, they're getting into the more adult kaboom pattern of, of pooping, which is every few weeks. And as an adult, they might only poop every, you know, three months or so. Hi there. This is another one of my male holdbacks. Hi. Hi Elvis. Come on. Come on. I know that's a little tough on your on your neck. There you go. Just hang out there for a second. Again, another big pile of poop to clean. Come on in. Hello. Are you videoing? Uh, I am. It's it's running up there. Uh, for the most part you would be out of view. Uh, only your incessant babbling will be yes, uh, on the yapping. Your yapping, that was the word. Uh, you know, people, if you don't like what you hear or see, just don't even bother watching the videos rather than being nasty and, uh, uh, you know, it's, that's the bottom line. If you don't like it, turn it the hell off. Uh, Lori and I don't really care. If you're going to be negative, if you're going to be an asshole, just don't bother. Because I'll end up blocking you eventually anyway. You have someone watching over your shoulder. Yes, he's... Like he, interest. He, Elvis is watching me handle the fat sausages once again. <laughs> I want some of these fat sausages, Mr. Viper Keeper. Huh? Huh? Can I take your picture? Uh, yeah, you're a nice looking boy too. Uh, you're a nice looking boy. Yes, notice I am taking great care in my distance uh, from the creature because we don't... Uh, literally, he could stand on his tail and go that high or even higher if they really wanted to. They're, they really defy gravity. Yes, you can look for that picture that Wolfgang Worcester took of the uh, puff adder, he, who decided well, to take flight. Yes, yes, he was airborne. So, uh, I may call them fat slugs, but they really uh, can defy physics. I know, I know, I saw that. I know, I know. Hi. You want to head bob with me, huh? Huh? taking to ex exception of me uh, hooking you, huh? Okay, there you go. You can go back in here. Yeah, you can go back in there now, see? I, you don't really need a cage change, do you? So I'm just going to leave you alone. <laughs> Mom has some of the substrate on her head. Oh yes, I took pictures of that already. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. Elvis, you would really like some of these fat sausages, but the problem is I don't know if you have immunity to their venom. And the fact that the fangs are very long. Um, Not worth the risk. Uh, no. Will you put your body down and relax? <laughs> This is not the, uh, you know, uh, some sort of, you know, thing that you shouldn't be used to. You've only been here since April, and we've done this uh, almost weekly uh, since then. And this should not be new to you. And you can't tell me that you're a dummy and you don't recognize this as... Is something that I've done before, or Lori has done before to you. Right, huh? What are you doing? This 
is how we start our Sundays here. Uh, babies, of course, and I still consider this a, a baby. Uh, they get uh, their care first thing, where the adult established snakes, uh, you know, wait later in the day for either, you know, cage cleaning or uh, uh, or care. Can I take your picture? Huh? Can you look a little bit more natural and <laughs> put your back down? Thank you. Okay, well now we're flattened out a little bit. Thank you. You ready to go back into your bin? Huh? Yep, bin's ready. Come on, I know, I know. Is that hook cold? Is that hook cold? Huh? Alright, get your noodle down there. Okay. Hello? You're okay, huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna bother you. Rhino so bad, I should really label that. This gal didn't eat, uh, which surprised me. I'll offer her something again today. Are you big guy, huh? Oh, you foul creature. Okay. It's well, a perfect example while we use the hooks <laughs> instead of hands. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, you know, my finger was safe from from over the top and stuff, but. It still startled me because I didn't expect it to whack the front there, but um, you wouldn't want your fingertips to go over the top here. Well, now it looks like uh, we're going to play a little snake hockey here with... Uh, uh, Miss Pissy. Yes, Miss Pissy, or better known as Slasher. Hi, you're a beauty. You really are, but you are foul. She goes through these phases where she was uh, uh, feeding really well and then she was not feeding well and basically striking and slashing and everything that was near her. Then she stopped that and, and started feeding again and now she's back to the slash and bite mode. Aren't you, huh? <laughs> yes. You're just... Uh, piece of work. You're very pretty. You're you're very pretty. You're a gabino. <laughs> you just stay there. We don't want to play hockey with you today. As a matter of fact, we don't like to play hockey with you at all. Except sometimes you Go ahead and uh, sort of make us play hockey, huh? Let's see, what can I do to really piss her off? Just about anything. <laughs> well, I know, it's not difficult, but I was thinking maybe give her a nice drink of water. Uh, would you like a nice drink of water? I'm uh, not even putting my hands on Table top. Mm. Uh, we'll just suck it. Hi. Do you want to drink a water? Ah, uh, I knew you would love that, huh? Oh, look at that, huh? Oh. Not that she's drinking. We want to drink. <laughs> that one eye is just fixed on me like if you move a millimeter buddy I'm gonna bite the snot out of you and the other one's on me <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's like I'm surrounded by these big monsters huh now if I pick you up are you gonna spit out your water huh come on no that's those silly uh, cobras that, that drool well she just squeezed out a few drops of water here you go Oh, stop it. You lost more water that way. Just go in there and be quiet. Okay. Hi, 
this. And look at Pogo is still uh, pouting in her corner there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my hut? Oh, I liked my log. Maybe you can turn it so the doorway is facing her. Come on. Mm, you might grab that longer hook and sort of sh keep your eye on those while I do the cage. Use our uh, Echis Pyramidum. And actually, uh, I will probably putting, be putting these four um, maybe today in a cage together because uh, it's coming up on breeding season. on geckos for the past few weeks and been refusing mice. Um, I think it's sort of a seasonal thing. Um, geckos are in season? <laughs> yes, geckos are in season for them. Uh, either that or they just got tired with mice and uh, wanted a little bit something different. I try to feed as many different uh, varieties of food as I can easily procure. I. What are you tasting there, huh? Something interesting. Come on. You know, I I don't know if these guys are going to breed or not. It doesn't, you know, you can't see any telltale traces of, of follicular activity inside there. You would really have to sort of ultrasound her. But she's got good weight. She's been doing pretty well. Come on, get in here and don't give me a hard time. Hello, how are you doing? And this is one of the new girls. poop is a lot drier than gaboon poop. Um, I try to keep the gaboons a lot moister and give them a lot more water because they're tropical snakes even though they hate water. Um, Echis, we still give them water but we just spray the sides. They're, if, if they're eating geckos, those are dry. If they're eating uh, mice, it's live mice. It's not my, you know, soak it in hot water mice, so they're getting a very limited amount of water in their diet, as they would in, in the wild in Egypt, uh, where they came from. Uh, 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 give me a hard time, huh? Oh, oh snake hockey. Snake hockey. You know, why they do that? If you or I fell from that distance, we, <laughs> we would be uh, broken, uh, perhaps behind, beyond repair. Okay, you're going to lay in that silly position. Oh, Elvis is going up his tree. Well, Elvis thinks that he can go up in his tree and get my attention easier by looking down at me. <laughs> Hi, bud. How you doing? He's like, let me out, you peasant. Huh? This is my kingdom. You can see the sausage is much better from there, dude, <laughs> huh? Oh, look at you, huh? I know you want to come out. Oh, man, yesterday he was up on top of everything, uh, trying to get out of the room, but then I was going to let him out of the room briefly, and I sort of pointed him out the door, and he turned around and came back in. So it's like, 
you know, the heck with you, dude. Hello. Hello. This is one of my established uh, females. Oh, don't be a crankpot. Don't be a crankpot. There you go. It's been dropping pretty low in temperature in the, in the lair at night. Um, and we've been letting the temperatures get down as low as 60. Um, I'm sure in the deserts of, uh, of Egypt, it, it'll get colder than that and they'll partially brumate. And, um, you know, I don't have that sort of brumation facility, otherwise I would chill them down even colder for longer. Uh, and that actually might uh, enhance fertility. Um, but uh, I don't have a facility that I can keep at those temperatures and simulate, you know, uh, a lot more darkness. Hey Elvis, how you doing? I want that even though it's a skinny one. Hey look, I'm not going to bounce you in the face, you turkey. Hi, <laughs> how you doing bud? This is the male, but he's clean and uh, I'm not going to take him out. Hi. And I don't want to disturb him because he's not really eating uh, and I'll have the opportunity to give him some mice later. Look at Dad checking out Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do like checking out the, what the hell's going on outside their cage and uh, you know everybody was was checking out Elvis as uh, as he went cruising by uh, their <laughs> enclosure. It's like how come he gets to go out? Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, feeding squamies. Uh, strangely enough, the males were better feeders yesterday than than the females, which is odd. But you know, there's no no telling what the hell is going to go on with snakes. <laughs> 